Hello everyone. Now I am going to give a presentation about variable electronic transmission for artificial 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 the contents of this artificial art will be introduction literature survey research gap problem statement block diagram design methodology etc the basically an artificial art is an electrical circuitry assist device which uses a brushless motor as an pump for pumping the blood from the articles and ventricles and to supply throughout the lungs and to circulate out throughout the body and the electrical energy is transferred to these devices using a transducer transducer transformer and the transducer transformers which has a large leakage inductance which reduces the efficiency the base the main drawback of this the dc to dc conversion employs the secondary side resonance can be employed by this problem the transfer gain of the voltage will be with the varying coefficient converter employing the compensation by the both the transformer with the both the transformer the efficiency will be increased components this as you can see in the diagram the main components of this artificial art which, which is completely suitable and which will be a uh, uh, which will be a plastic art not uh, uh, like iron which may be corrosive when placed in the art chamber and it has major five component which will be given from the outermost chamber which is energy source the control and the driving system energy conversion system the pump actuator and the blood handling parts artificial art you can see from the diagram the difference between the artificial art and the original art when the original well, art fails to performs its function artificial art will be uh, placed in the cavity of the original art and the for that the pumping action will be supplied by an external motor through a backpack supported by the patient so by the literature survey i got one paper which is development of linear electromagnetic actuator for implanting of artificial art. In this, we are mainly using linear pulse motors and blood flow count sensor. And there are many advantages and disadvantages. I have listed few here. The advantage of the artificial art is they are not rejected by the body immune system. Because of the biocarbon or bioplastic which is used in this, the, this will not be rejected by the body. And which it has made from stainless steel metal and uh, plastic metal that will the heart or the body will not the heart or the body will not block like as foreign material so while coming to disadvantage of the artificial art by doing the surgery for fixing this artificial art can lead to bleeding and it, it causes infection it will not work like in a natural art due to the natural the natural heart will be pumping pumping from 70 times per minute but the artificial art can be selected by the user from the outside backpack supported from 70 beats per minute to 100 beats per minute though the blood flows through original art easily the artificial art cannot take the blood as it is so in the artificial art it may cause blockage or any leakage of the blood to the internal organs so in the research gap what i have found it is the i have referred two to three papers of artificial art which has a minimum lifetime of only of six months and not more than about two years extra research has has to be made for this artificial art to fulfill the needs of the users from 10 to 15 years and the backpack is more than 6 kg 
which may be a burden for the user so if the weight of the backpack is reduced or the internal organ will be can be fitted through a shirt it will be helpful so so coming to the problem statement the transformer core it is which a variable part code of 6656 of 3 c8 ferrite which can be the main use of this transformer variable part is that for the user to vary the art bit range from 70 bit to 100 bit which can be varied through the backpack and the thickness of this art is 1.1 inch which is slightly related to the original art the thickness of the original art will be 0.99 0.9 inch the air gap between the arterial and the ventricle holes will be 10 to 20 mm whereas in the original art the air gap is almost 9 to 90 the region 3 of the gain characteristic select the lower value of the q factor is selected so now i now we are seeing a circuit diagram of the artificial art which will be given a square wave voltage not a sine wave because this square wave voltage is more reliable and we are using two lc filters and a diode combination which will be can be used as a bridge and the voltage will be for this circuit will be provided with the internal battery v not and the output will be given to the to the heart through re- resistor rj so design methodology coming to designing of an artificial heart it is most of the components are made by the laboratories by the third party manufacturer including the machine shops printed circuit pcb manufacturing all the programming for the artificial art should be done once all components are obtained by the third parties manufacturer the lvda system will be assembled and tested to ensure that each and every device is meet all the specification because uh, of a heart which is mainly important for the human so they should test all these components easily so some artificial manufacturer make their own polyurethane parts for because of polyurethane the heart will be lightweight and the user will not feel that it is an artificial heart and the propagan liquid solution that is poured on the ceramic model and it will be rubber like substances which will be helpful for in pumping and releasing of the art assembly each artificial art will be assembled with each and every part in a biomedical laboratory or a workshop where it is located in washington america the process each artificial art will be assembled tested and several assembly operation of will done in parallel and parallel while in while in the assembly line the artificial arts all the components like article ventricle the pumping action will all be placed and testing is necessary for each and every heart and after the manufacturing mainly the sterilization packing and the transporting is very important after artificial art is test and passed pass passed it is sent to an outside company for sterilization by this sterilization it can be used in the humans and each device is sealed in a plastic tray and wrapped with a plastic foam and sent to each and every location or main main hospital where it is required the we are now we are looking at the block diagram of an artificial art and the back where the black line indicates the skin where the external is a the backpack which is which is consisting of a dc power supply rn battery or switching and resonating circuit which is used for switching of the internal and the outer rail transformer as we have seen before and and measurement and control system which will be measured the uh, hearts artificial hearts artificial beats and which will be controlled as per 
the users required. If the users has been given 70 bits, it should beat only 70. By this control system, it can be controlled. Coming to internal artificial arm, the input will be received through a resonance rectifier circuit and a transducer photocoupling uh, diodes which act like an LED and IR sensor. The sensing and the control circuit will sense the IR rays inside the body and it will send to a driver. And the secondary battery will be inside the artificial lab. In case of the main battery phase, the secondary battery will act as a biasing and it will further give the energy to all the circuit and it gives the driver. From this all the components, the driver receives the input and it drives the artificial heart. And the blood pumping action will be done as the normal heart. Finding that is improvement. As this artificial art is suffering from many disadvantages, it has to improve because the artificial art will only function for 6 to 20 years or 2 years. We should improve the uh, reliability, durability of this artificial art. So, the real time application where are these artificial art issues? Cardiac replacement with total artificial as a bridge to transplantation. While transplanting a heart, it takes a minimum delay of 15 to 20 minutes or it may take up to an hour. By this, the artificial art can be placed and the operation will be done and then the original art may be placed. It is used for basic cardiovascular research. While the biotechnology or bioscientists who design a medicine for the heart, first they will place this art to an, any, any animals and then they give the medicine. Either this artificial art will reach the requirement for permanent heart. Now, the permanent solution for all kind of heart disease and for total art replacement. For complete art replacement, we should improve this application. Future work. In future, the artificial art will be shelf item with availability similar to the pacemaker and photosynthesis well. The What is pacemaker? The main the main use of the pacemaker is when the heart which when the heart doesn't meet uh, when the heart doesn't meet the normal uh, beating value or it should be 70 to 100 mm when it when it fails to for this cardiovascular beating the pacemaker is used for doing this so these are the list of the list of companies or bioscientists working on this product. Mainly the Health Level 7 International which is located in Europe, West Asia and all of the North Asia. The Global Cardiovascular Health which is mainly focused on improving the people's health. And the references are as listed below.